In this two-minute tutorial, we're going to be discussing the difference between opacity and fill and how you can use this understanding in a creative way. And I'm going to start right now. Now, opacity and fill are basically the same slider. They change the transparency or projection of your layer. But fundamentally, they are different in two ways. Firstly, opacity just changes the transparency. So you can increase and decrease the transparency to your heart's desire. But fill changes the projection. Now, in most cases, this is actually the same thing. But with eight specific blending modes, they are radically different. So let's go ahead and just turn on this simple blue solid color adjustment layer. If we go ahead in normal mode, so this is normal blending mode, and change the opacity, you can start to see the layer below it. Then if we go ahead and change the fill, we go ahead and change that, same thing really applies. But if we go ahead and change it to one of eight blending modes, we can see a difference. So if we go to our blending mode options, we're gonna go ahead and drop it down to hard mix. Now, if we go ahead and change the opacity, you can just see we're simply reducing the power of that effect. You can still see these blue, very strong lines at the bottom. And overall, it doesn't really make a much difference. But if we go ahead and change it to fill and reduce that, you can see this radically changes the style of photo. And you can use this in quite a few creative ways. Another way that fill is different to opacity is fill does not have any effect on layer styles. So what we're going to do is turn that layer off. We're going to go to our layer below. Now this is our text layer. Now if we go ahead and change the opacity of this to around about 18%, you can't see the text very well, but you also can't see the drop shadow, which is a layer style applied to that layer. But if we go ahead and change this to fill, as you can see, we'll go ahead and drop that all the way down. You can still see the drop shadow without seeing the layer. So you can actually use it in quite a few creative ways. So go give this a go to find out what you can do with the difference between opacity versus fill.